a normal mm -hmm. shape then the injury set in mm -hmm. so it was quite frustrating for me i was like you know what i'm in my late 30s yeah so uh, why don't i give the um, other boys chance to to do what they want and uh, honestly i have nothing to prove to anybody and um i think i've, I've accomplished a lot in my career mm -hmm. and um me being there then I'll, i would say i'll be i'll be greedy you know I've, yeah. I've got everything in the game you know i've achieved a lot in the game and i feel like it was the right time to to leave who do you, after talking to yourself in your mind who did who is the first person that you spoke to about this who knew the new the news before we knew the news it's obvious everybody knows it's my brother Buffo. <laughs> yeah it's something we've been talking about you know um, sometimes i tell him okay um, i want to announce my retirement and uh, he said yeah why not you we and then uh, the following day, I can't say, no, 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 I still, I can still play. You know, so we were just contemplating. I was confusing him, you know, because <laughs> you he, confusing him. Yes, I was confusing him because <laughs> he supports everything I do. Okay. He supports everything I do. And uh, we have that rapport since my infancy to, to, to now. So we have that connection. So he's there. Anything I tell him, if he feels like it's, it's, not, it's not a good time, he tells me, advise me. But if he feels it's a good time. So... We were just contemplating like two years ago. I was mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. Charlie, it was like, yeah, you know, don't, you end up maybe getting sick or something. Don't force yourself when yeah. you feel like it's, it's, the time is up, you know. And then the following day I come, okay, okay, let's, let's give it a try. <laughs> you know, and uh, that was what we were doing. So I got up one day and I was like, hey, that's, that's it. it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. You look up a lot to Bafo. Yes. I look up to him because um, growing up, he was the one who take it. He was the one taking me to the football field mm -hmm. and everything. So I remember when he joined the national team, he normally takes me as his younger brother, Stephen Apia and those guys. They saw me with my brother, holding me in my hands. Okay. So when they saw me in the national team, they're like, ah, is that your, the brother who you've been coming, coming with? with. Like, and that's it. So since I was, I was a baby, my, my brother was the one taking care of me. So... We know each other very well. That is why he's my role model. And you wanted to be like him? Yes, I wanted to be like him. Okay. But I got to a time, he was saying I would be better than him. He because, was that humble? Yeah, yeah, because he saw me. And people, people don't understand when I say he's my role model. He, he made the journey, and I took it to the next level, and he made sure he supported me to reach where I'm, I'm at today. So I always say he's my brother. You never felt that there was any envy of him well, I mean, from him towards your success, you never felt that anyway. No, anyway. I never felt that. In human beings, you might never know what is. Uh, uh, let me tell him where is he. <laughs> if you are envious of me, then I don't know. <laughs> because you, you, when somebody is coming, but you can't read somebody's yeah, mind yeah, or something, yeah, you know. Yeah. But for what I've seen, he's been everything. When did you know you're going to be great? Um, at the age of twelve. You know, I remember when I was in um, United Kingdom Babies under 12, and sometimes uh, we go to play, and uh, we had great, great players. You know, good, good players at that time. You know, and uh, after a game, the people cheer them up, they raise them on their shoulders, and every time my brother comes to me, he say, hey, "You are better than them," but they don't see. You told you I know. That. Yes, he always tell me I'm better than those guys, but people don't see. You know, we we have people who have the IQ. There are people. For me, when I see a football player, mm -hmm. and I see the best player I know, because I, I see things that people don't see. What do you see? Me, I don't see. What do you no, see? No, I mean, like, when I see a good player, <laughs> like, I like this like that, may, may he's so rest in, in peace. peace yeah. He was the one who discovered me. You know, so when we can go, we can go to a field, you can see 20 players. Mm -hmm. You can see thousands of players. Mm -hmm. You see the fans saying, oh, this guy is the best player. I would say, no. The guy you didn't see, that one. And that guy will become a best player. You know, so I, I know all these things. I know how to scout. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, so that was what my brother did. He, he saw something. He saw the complete player in me. And he's like, hey, they are, they are much older than you. But I know you are better than them. So don't be angry. Because I, I like to be at the top there. When I see, uh, I don't, why have they carried this guy on the shoulder and not me? You understand? So he was like, hey, you are better. The time will tell. Mm -hmm. And this is the time. Did you ever ask him what he actually saw? I mean, what did he think was Then you have best? to ask him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I need to interview Buffy. Buffy yeah, you have to, to ask him what, what he saw. saw. He, he saw everything in me. Mm -hmm. You know, he, um, all my senior guys, Stephen Appiah, all these guys. Um, my brother used to tell them. 
I rather used to tell them, hey. And I remember there was one interview with Sunny Dara, uh, Choice FM. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the Sunny Dara asked him, who does he think will fit in his shoes? That time he was in the national team. Yodikara. That time I was at school. Okay. I was in JSS. Mm -hmm. And then he told everybody that um, his brother will be the next striker. And then people started insulting him and stuff. You know, because that time there were a lot of strikers yes. at that time. But he could see that you would come Yes. Here. So he was saying his brother at school. <laughs> Who is so, not even there? Yeah. So people were like, <laughs> who will be <laughs> His brother. Mm. And then, yeah, am I? <laughs> Can you just remember the first time you put on the, the Black Star jersey? Um, that was in 2003. Mm -hmm. 2003. I had already said it in, in GSS at school. I already said it. I you said, said you were going to play Black Stars? Yeah, because that time Ghana had great, great players. Like, mm -hmm. oof. Who were the big people there? That, that Abedi Pele, mm -hmm. Tony Yeboa. I used to sit on, in front of television and watch sports highlights. Mm -hmm. come, come come yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, and I remember I always tell my friends, and you know that time, Ghana never qualified. No. We had the players and oh, the players. We, it was so frustrating. Yeah. And I remember one day I just got up and I told my friend that, hey, the first time I will wear a Ghana shirt, that is when we go to the World Cup. You told them this? Yes. What did your friend say? They were just laughing. JJ, yeah, yeah, yeah. But till now, <laughs> till now when they see me and their friends, they tell their friends. That, yeah, hey, this is what you said? He said it. Did you write these things down or you just said them? I just said it. But I, 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 I don't forget anything I say. Mm -hmm. So, before I say something, I know what I'm saying. So, if, if I don't know anything about what I'm going to say, I won't say it. Mm. Talk about what you know. Yes. Simple. Yes. And then we got to Germany. Yes. We got to Germany. We lost our first game. Yeah. My brother was on standby. He was, um, he was on a flight back to Ghana because he was, he was on standby. Mm -hmm. And I told him, the second game, when you go, tell Ghanaians I'm going to score. Do you, did you think come, do they come to you in dreams? Or no. Um, or do you see, you see yourself scoring? The thing is, um, sometimes I don't want to blow my own horns, but I, I feel like I'm a complete striker. Mm -hmm. I, I'm a complete striker. So uh, my chances of scoring in a game is higher, mm -hmm. like 95%, because I can shoot, I can score free kicks, I can dribble. Both legs, head. Both legs, head, jump, everything. So when I'm going to the game without injury, when I'm 100% fit, I do predict, I do, I do tell people, and my people colleagues can, can even testify. Hey, I'm going to score a goal. Yeah, me. without any injury. When I feel good in my mm -hmm. body, I'll mm -hmm. say, okay, maybe first 15 minutes, I'll score. I'll score. That's like, is, is it inborn or something you developed? It's confident. <laughs> that you can do it. Uh, people affiliate confidence with arrogance, but it's confident. I'm very confident. When I want, I'm going to a game 100% fit, I'll tell them, actually, oh, I'll score. And then you scored the first goal, your yeah. first goal for, for, the, yes. for, for the Black Stars. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know it was, was going to come that early, mm -hmm. but I knew I was going to score. I told my brother, when you go tell Ghanaians, I will score. Because he was my roommate, mm -hmm. but he was on standby, so he, he wasn't feeling the energy in camp, so he felt like he wants to come to Ghana. So I told him. So he watched the first game against Italy. Mm -hmm. He was in the stadium. So when he was going back to, to Ghana, against Czech. I, I told him to stay, but I will score. I will, I will score for you to... Save to, yourself the ticket. Yeah, to be happy. He said, no, 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 I want to go. And I said, okay, when you go tell Ghanaians, I will score. <laughs> and when you score, did you call him and tell him that I told you? He knows it. <laughs> <laughs> so, my brother, when you... Maybe I go, and, I go and do something amazing and you come and tell him, hey, come and see what your brother did. He, he will just laugh at you. So he's told me already. Because, no, he knows what I can do. You know, he has so much confidence in yes. you. Yes. Is there a time that he was disappointed in you? Nope. Never. And, and he's the <laughs> number one critic mm. when it comes to me. When people cheer me up, he's like, oh, I'm going to <laughs> Yeah, so he knows what I can do. Uh -huh. uh, but behind the scene, he corrects me. He says, this one, you, you should have done it this way, this one, this one, this way. What was the biz biggest mistake you, you, you did and for which he had to sit you down and say, my friend, this one, you, you do your one? Um, there was one game I wasn't... Um, I wasn't that uh, fit to play uh, the 90 minutes. So I was like exhausting my energy, you know, going too deep, taking the ball. And um, he said, hey, you're a clinical finisher. Just be the 18 and then wait for the finishing touches because I was coming back from injury. Mm -hmm. But I was trying to do more. Everything. Yes. And I got injured. And when it happens like that, what did he tell you? I told you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... Sometimes when I, I'm playing football and he's at a stadium, we do communicate a lot. Really? In the stands. I know where he's sitting. Okay. So when I went to the UAE, mm -hmm. anytime I look at the stands, sometimes the camera 
the turn and then they see that communication. Bafo is there. Yeah, he's, maybe he's, he's teaching me something and uh, you see the camera. So like some, some hand movements. Yeah. So it got to a time when Alain were going to, for a Champions League game. They, they normally fly my brother. So that the communication can go on? Yes. So give me some of the signals. What, 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 what are some of the things that you, you do? <laughs> I want to see the language, man. Maybe, maybe the, it feels like um, the right side of the, the, the field is you've got the weaker side. Yeah. Maybe the two central defenders mm -hmm. are very tough. You know? So you can see there's a space at the left side or the right side. So he tells me to operate. Yeah, maybe from the left side, maybe I can come in and do the killing. Or he feels like this one is slow. This one, um, the two central defenders, we have a slow one and a faster mm -hmm. one. So be with the slow one. And you'll be, you'll be reading all these yes. signals while you're on Yes, there. yes. Your brother sounds like a coach, man, or a strategist. Yeah. <laughs> Did he go into coaching? No, he, he just got my back. That's it. Of all he, the countries he, he, that... He, he's a Samajan fan. Number one. Yes. Numero one. Uno. Yes. Of all the countries you had the, the fortune to play in, you played in the UK, you played in the Middle East, you played in China, um, France, Italy as well. Italy. Yeah. Yes. What's first, your, my what first was your time. favorite country? My favorite country is, is, is quite interesting. It's so funny, but uh, I always say UAE. You love UAE. Yeah, I, I played my best football there. Really? Yeah, because I took up upon myself um, the criticism and stuff. People thought my, my career was over when I went there. But when I came to the national team, my, my, my international record was much better than when I was in Europe. What was like, like, life like in the UAE? Um, I was just there to, to play football. They did everything for me. Mm -hmm. um, they just put you in a house, fully furnished, nine-bedroom house, everything. Nine bedrooms? Yes, they would say, okay, go and play football, score for us. <laughs> Simple instructions? Yes, they do everything for you. What, they, they, they solve all the, the behind-the-scenes pro problems just and everything. Just go and play. Just go and play. Who lived in the other eight bedrooms? <laughs> I had to fly my brother and my friends. Because <laughs> that's, that's a match. Yeah, so man. I was living with my friends and my, my brother. And I, so we were living there. That was nice. Yes. What was China like? China, um, luckily I went to the best city, Shanghai. Yeah, Shanghai. Which is an international city, you know. So I also felt good there. You learned some small Chinese? No. Even Ni Hao? Uh, Ni Hao, yes. Shishi. Shishi is normal. <laughs> but but in, in, in Al Ain, you learned some small Arabic? Honestly. Shukran, at least. The only language I wanted to learn was French and Italian. Uh -huh. I would say. Ah bon? Oui. Donc tu parles français un peu? Oui, je, je parle. Nice. Je parle un petit peu, ouais. <laughs> and so you, you ended up, um, you did all these great exploits. You came back home, you joined Ligon Cities. You felt, oh, okay. Uh, my weight is not the, the weight that I want it to be. I retired, you've retired, and now you are up to some interesting things. Um, but before I talked about all regional games and I bring in uh, Leonard, I see that you're a sporty guy. I, I see you play tennis, uh, football, yes. You box as well? Yes. Okay. You could have been a boxer. Um, I love the sport, but um, the punches are too much. So. <laughs> <laughs> what other sports do you do? <laughs> um, I, I haven't tried different sports, but I think I'm a fast learner. I'm, I'm a real sportsman. So mm -hmm. even if I don't know, you, you teach me, I, I, can, you can, learn. I can learn it yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah. I'm just, For how I'm long like, have you been playing tennis? I see you play tennis. Uh, this is my fourth year. This is your fourth year? Yeah, and I've okay. been beating some top, top players. In the, okay, all right. Yeah, so. You could have been a tennis guy, man. Um, if you had thought about it back then. Yes, I could have been a pro, mm -hmm. but um, now I can't be a pro. I'm just playing to enjoy it. <laughs> to enjoy yourself. I can be a semi-pro, okay. but I cannot be a pro. Okay. Who are your favorite tennis players now? Now, Alcaraz. You love? I love Alcaraz. What, what, what about Alcaraz does it for you? He's a complete player. Mm -hmm. Like you're complete, a complete striker? Complete. He's okay. he, he hasn't got any weakness. Okay. His defense, his overhead, his volleys, drop shots. Mm -hmm. Forehand, mm -hmm. backhand, he's got everything. It's got everything. everything. It's got everything. Is tennis part of the all regional games? Yes, tennis fantastic. Part of it. We're going to zoom into that right now. And uh, uh, Franklin, good to have you here. Thank you, sir. Um, you are the advisor to the all regional games. When did you know about this whole idea of, uh, that uh, Baby Jet has been? Uh, um, I think it came up when we, we, went, we went for a program in Togo mm -hmm. and we started talking over dinner. Mm -hmm. And he said, I've been working for this for the last 10 years. I'm like, okay, what is it? So then he starts talking to me about it. And I'm like, well, guess what? There's another institution or organization that is always in the UK. Mm -hmm. I think in Ghana to do something similar, but I think this is better. Okay. So then the two parties came and then met fuse what he's got and then what they were thinking. Mm -hmm. And then here we are, original games. How long have you known uh, Baby Jet? 
Um, for for a while. Okay. For a while. Um, and I've always admired him from a distance. Um, majority of the time, I stayed in the UK, so I used to follow okay. um, his game at Sunderland and the and pieces. So mm -hmm. I've admired him from afar, mm -hmm. uh, but coming to know him has been um, a while now, and he's mm -hmm. one of the few people that I respect. Okay. Yeah. Baby Jet. First of all, I know the, the, so the, those who are too young, they don't know the, the Baby Jet of the 70s, who was an athlete. Who gave you the Baby Jet name? Um, Dangwe Kuyebwa. Oh. Yeah. LOC, All African Games. Dangwe yeah, 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 yeah. When I was in, um, in Liberty, you know, when I was in Liberty, you know, I had that baby face look. Okay. And then, uh, not now, uh, because <laughs> yes, I had a baby face look. And um, I was really, really fast. You know, growing up at Malam, that area of the court there, um, because of my, my look, mm -hmm. they used to call me baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, because of my look. Yeah, you were so, baby face. So, baby, baby, uh, to, to, to Liberty. Mm -hmm. And then he knew, he knew me as baby. Mm -hmm. So, when he saw my pace, there was one game, my pace and everything, and he added a jet to it. Yes. So, he was like, baby jet. So, when any time he sees me, he's like, the baby jet has landed. The baby jet has landed. And, um, yeah. Of course, we had Alice Anum, who was the baby jet track and field Ghanaian athlete, oh, okay. who, who, who was the original baby jet. I'm, I'm sure he was thinking about that. She was very fast as well. And, and she, she, she ran for Ghana. Oh, okay. Yes. So maybe, maybe that's what Dan Kukuyeba was thinking about. Oh, I didn't, yes. I didn't know that. Yeah, or, I think she even came for the... For the, for the, the I, remember, I, rem I remember when I scored, I scored 31 goals, they said there was somebody who had scored 45 goals. <laughs> so after the 45 goals, I said, who else? <laughs> you like to challenge yourself. Yes. <laughs> and that's a mark of a confident person. Yes. Uh, and and Ghanaians, some Ghanaians are not comfortable with confidence. Yes, yeah, sometimes. You know, this is how we, we brought up. You know, there are certain things you cannot say when an elderly person is there. Mm. But to, to, to see everything, to check everything, you can see that what the boy is saying is right. Mm. But you, you can't say it. You have to keep quiet. Yeah, so that is how it is. So. But you, you used to get in trouble with your confidence? Um, not in trouble because um, physically I'm strong. Okay. If you come, I'll beat you. So <laughs> that one, yeah. <laughs> I would say, I would say as it is. But um, yeah, but that time, those that, time, was, yeah. that was that was that was then. This yeah. is now. That Other was. nicknames that you had before Baby Jet? What were your your, your, your nicknames? <laughs> they called me Fagas when I was in school. Fagas. Fagas. Yes. Fagas. Where that one from? There was one player um, at <laughs> Mighty Victory. His name is Fagas. He was a very very fast player, oh, okay. and uh, I love that name. Okay. So when I came to school, I said, hey, my name is Fagas. I stole it for me. Okay. I said, my name is Fagas. F straight up. Uh, Fagas. <laughs> so Fagas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any more? That's There's it. a monk or two. Hey, 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 monk. Where that one to from? That's the term. Okay. Yeah, so now, sometimes you even go to the villages, and somebody doesn't know how to pronounce it. Yeah, hey, hey, monk. I say, hey, hey, monk. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ghanaians love you. Yeah, I also love them. Yeah. And it's, uh, so it's I a... love Ghana. That's it. I love Ghana. If you, even if, Everybody hates me in this country. The word Ghana, that is what I love. This country, Ghana. So you can choose to love or hate me. I love Ghana. So when I'm doing something, I'm doing it for Ghana. I, I, I get, no, I get you. I yeah. get you. So, so, so I, I love where I'm at. Ghana is a blessed country. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah, COVID is nearby. You see any natural disaster or anything. Yeah. We are blessed. Mm -hmm. We're blessed with natural resources and everything. So I'm blessed to be part of Ghana. So when I'm doing something, I do it wholeheartedly. I, I just love the country. Anytime you stood there and then you heard the anthem while we're about to play a big game, what was going through your mind? <laughs> I, I remember yesterday at the um, Jubilee House, um, they were playing the national anthem. Yeah. You know, when the Kenyan um, yes, president, president came, came around. Ruto. Yes. I was invited. And uh, when they were playing the national anthem, one of the ministers was looking at me. He saw the passion in my face. Like, hey, you can't say, oh, Bobo. I said, hey, sorry. Anthem, I man. said, sorry. It's the anthem. <laughs> yeah, it's the anthem. So yeah, I was yeah. like, so anytime I, I, I hear the national anthem, I'm... And, and, you, and you flew all this, the flag on all these countries. I mean, what does Ghana mean to the people in... in hey, you in, go to the original games. Yeah, we're going there. Huh? We're there. Ah, okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so I mean, I mean, your love for Ghana brought you to where we are right now yes. for these these this competition so i mm. see the tracks the the the, the events you have football there's esports yes uh, i'm an old guy what's esports esports um they, they came on board you know esports game games, okay video stuff yeah okay and they, they are doing so well mm -hmm. you know they are everywhere and when they they they, they contacted us to to come on board we we're like oh this is amazing now we we, we see in the future because Original games is a generational thing. It's not something that we want to do and then go and sleep. Mm -hmm. We want the next generation to come benefit. We want to improve sports. 
not only football. Not just football. We, that, is, that is my whole thing. I, I always think beyond football. Mm -hmm. And then that, that is why we are here. It's something we've been planning. <sighs> I had a plan. I, I, I told Franklin about it. He called the organization, those who are ready to do it. I sold their ideas to them. And it's been like six months. We're not sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> Not a work, eh? We, 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 what kind of, what kind of, what's, what's the work that's involved that's in putting the original game um, together? I mean, first of all, one of his vision was um, life beyond football. Exactly. When he comes on retirement, what next? Mm -hmm. And for me, one of the things I got from him was most footballers or athletes after their career, they are just wasted. It's over, yeah. And he was like, how can I create something that I will still be relevant? Mm -hmm. I will leave a legacy. And how can I bring all the other... Um, athletes that have gone on retirement also on board, including coaches that was on board. So data was one of the critical things that we thought about. That we wanted to avoid scams, we wanted to avoid, um, avoid bad um, images to mm -hmm. the brand, sure. original games. Yeah. So it was like, okay, fine, let's go digital. Okay. So let's build a database. So we spent about seven months building a whole comprehensive database. What does that entail? I mean, when okay. you say the database, so what's inside? with the database, one of the things, we wanted to touch all the 16 regions. Okay. We can't physically be at all the 16 regions mm -hmm. to discover talent. So we build a database that irrespective of where you are, mm -hmm. through your smartphone, through the, um, your laptop or your computer, you can register for a particular sports discipline that you are interested to try okay. across the entire country. Even to the extent of you want to be a volunteer supporter, if you want to be a coach that wants to come on board, okay. if you are a physician that wants to come on board, a sports doctor that wants to come on board, you just go to the portal and you register. So we can have a comprehensive data across all the 16 regions from people that want to participate, mm -hmm. from coaches that have gone retirement that want to come okay. back and support, yeah. to every aspect. And that's what we spend over seven months planning. And we're glad to launch it on the 9th of April, whereby the portal will be officially mm -hmm. open. Okay. And it doesn't matter which part of Ghana that you are, mm -hmm. provided there's an internet, provided you have a smartphone, you can actually go in there and I said, okay, my name is Kafu mm -hmm. I'm interested in arm wrestling, I'm interested in soccer, athletics, um, long tennis. I will register and put my details in there. So I see track, which is the athletics. I see volleyball. Yeah. I see boxing. Yeah. I see arm wrestling. That's it. Tennis, yeah. basketball, yes. esports, yes. football. Yes. What's the end game? What is the, the, the big vision? What, what do you want to see in 10 years' time? What do you want to see when you close your eyes? I mean, if you, if you look at our dispensation, what has happened over the years, uh, people that normally make it to the national team are people within Kumasi and yeah. people within Accra. Mm -hmm. Somebody that lives in Chirponi, mm -hmm. it's just by miracle they'll yeah. be discovered. Mm -hmm. So what all regional games is to do is to everyone to have the opportunity to showcase their talent. Okay. At the end game, you can have people that might be signed up by international clubs. You can have people that can be discovered by local clubs. You can have people that can have sponsorship through Ambafoja educational foundation program that is drawn mm -hmm. so that at least it's not only revival sports but also discovering talent from the rural areas okay. so that everyone in Ghana will see and what it is all about so in all the sports um, eight disciplines that we targeting every region is supposed to have their best representation to come and represent them in the national sports festival which is when which is in November Okay, so we are kind of g moving towards moving, that. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. So you have um, the best football across all the 16, the best basketball, tennis ball across all the 16 regions. So okay. are they going to be like trials all the way? Yeah, yes. So, 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 so as you mean, maybe we go to um, Kumasi. Mm -hmm. We selected the best football team, yes. so the best volleyball team for Ashanti region, mm -hmm. and then we go to the next region. Mm -hmm. So everybody is selecting the best discipline. Okay. And then when they get their best discipline, that is when they come to national. This, this, like this is like intercourt times thousand. Yes. This is like a mini Olympic Olympic game. games. Yeah, yes. big time. Yes. Yeah, this is a big vision. Yeah, yes. it's a big vision. That's why, that's why I said it's, it's a gener generational thing. Is your head hurting you with, and, the, the, uh, with the size of this vision? <laughs> oh, <laughs> last, I think last night we were, we were in a meeting and I said, Franklin, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> it's like, no, just let me just one minute. I said, no, please, I want to sleep. Seven months? It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's something we've been working on. And um, I, I can't just wait for, for, for the next generation or the Ghanaians to benefit from it. You know, sometimes we go to Olympic Games and you see one person participating in yeah. athletics or something. So, you want to see Ghana in all the disciplines. disciplines. And this is what I've been thinking of. 
I'm a football player, mm -hmm. and I'm happy I've achieved everything in football. But I'm not thinking about football. I just want to, I'm thinking about Ghana, mm -hmm. as I said earlier. Yeah. That is what I, I, I'm thinking of. And I, I, I want every Ghanaian to support this, this vision, mm -hmm. and it's going to take us a long way. So um, on, on, Thursday, on Tuesday, when the day is over, what, 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 what are you expecting, Franklin? What, what, should, what should be the vision at the end of Tuesday? At the end of Tuesday, we, we're looking at a couple of areas. We're looking at um, the word spreading around to all the 16 regions mm -hmm. and bringing the youth back um, into uh, giving the opportunity to actually come and register and then also prepare for their trials. Mm -hmm. We're also expecting every single coach we have across all the 16 regions, those have gone retirement. If you take like football, for instance, you have Coach Sapon leading the entire charge for bringing all the coaches at the regional level together mm -hmm. to support the team. We're also hoping that when we launch the portal, people will go in and then go and register. And then we're also hoping that we attract sponsorship and then we're also hoping that people will have that privilege and the right that, okay, we are building a team for OT or Savannah or um, Ashanti region or for Eastern region. We're going to have our own representations to actually come and participate. Okay. I'll see whether I can take some messages from uh, Asamoah John. Yes, uh, I see. Let me just jump to the board yeah. and read some messages for you. Okay. Permission? <laughs> Yes, sir. Make a go. <laughs> All righty. So, uh, uh, good morning, GTV. My name is Richard Mesa. Uh, people call Butterbird. As someone is my friend, I want to get his number so I can tell him to call me on this line. Thank you so much. <laughs> Watching you live on your show. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, more messages here. 055-556-1034. Everybody wants your number. Happy to have John with you today. Can I get his phone number in private to discuss about the project for young African footballers in Ghana? Or give him my number in case he's interested. How do people reach you, um, Baby Jet? What's the best way for people to reach you? Yeah, well, I have my team, so... Uh, okay, can... yeah. So maybe you can put your team's number out? Is it possible? Yes. We'll, we'll yeah, so give we'll a, a contact out. and email or whatever. Yes. Um, I, I think, I think the, be the best way is to, um, after the press, like, when you go register, yes. there's all the information. There you go. Uh, hey, Charlie. My name is Maranatha. I had admission to... You're going to school in China. You want to be a medical doctor. You need a sponsor. You want Mr. Samwajan to be your sponsor. Okay, all right. <laughs> and my name is... Sulu we are from, looking for sponsors. From, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> they are looking for sponsors. Process, man, and you are asking for sponsors. But you, how do you deal with all this pressure? I mean, people. Yes, um, I think uh, we, we we sent letters out, and um, mm -hmm. the response has been very very great. You mm -hmm. know? So it's not enough. We 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 want other corporate organization to mm -hmm. to um, to come on board because um, this is a generational thing. As I said, it's huge. Mm -hmm. And um, when it starts, I don't want the situation whereby <laughs> now the thing is out there, and people start rushing. You mm -hmm. know, um, I want people to start the foundation to start the genesis mm -hmm. of, of um, the original games with us and uh, it's going to be great so um, we are we're asking for um, all the corporate organizations to, to come on board okay to make this is there anybody already on board that you 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 you, you, you can talk about um, we will unveil them, I think, on Tuesday. Yes. Um, yes. Just to keep the surprise and okay. anticipation going. All right. um, um, we have some few insurance companies on board. One of the things that he's also about the world is he understands that people get injured some of these during trials and other bits and pieces. So he's got an insurance policy mm -hmm. um, for during the festival that in case anybody get injured there's an insurance company that will okay. actually will look at that even at the trial level um, so those are some of the things that is actually putting in place mm -hmm. um, to avoid somebody getting injured within mm -hmm. um, the festival and then they are left to actually their family to go and take care of them so there are insurance policies okay. in place sure. i mean he's for 10 years has actually planned this very very well mm -hmm. um, to be honest with you and some of the things is introduced mm -hmm. now for instance we have the regional committee the regional committee is okay. being chaired by the regional house of chiefs rep okay. that's going to actually sit on the committee and it's creating a regional fund so whatever donation that comes in is divided across all the 16 regions to develop stop, um, sports talent within the region in terms of jersey, we have in, this is for Ghana mm -hmm. and it should be owned by Ghanaians. Definitely. If you have the capacity to sow, to sow jerseys mm -hmm. at a regional level, we're limited to the region. We are not taking people from Accra That's to all. go to Pusiga to go and sow. Promote the local economy there. Yes, yes. There. I like that. That is it's one of the visions. I like that. Um, create more employment. So he's actually thought this thing through every step of the way. We want to bring gymnastics back. You know, Americans have the cheerleading. So we also expecting that at the regional level, when your region is coming to Nassau to perform, um, gymnastics and cheerleading should actually come and then support 
um, also display the culture we, we for that Jama. particular region. We call it Jama. <laughs> okay. <laughs> America is a chain. Are you a Jama king? So it's not Jama be that. Ewule mon. One time. So okay. these are some of the things, and one of the things we're also doing is um, we're having every regional flag to represent um, at the national nice. uh, festival. Nice. So actually to create the broken right that, okay, we are from the voter. This we is our flag. Yeah. Like, this is our, this nice. is our team. Yes. And then promote the um, the various culture at the games as well. Yeah, so, man. exactly. So, these are some of the things. Oh, yes, and Bobo when the water people are coming. <laughs> exactly. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, we want to make it more exciting. Yeah, man, um, and the bragging rights, you know, it, maybe uh, voter region can they take more medals than. Uh, yeah, and then you have bragging. Yeah, so yeah. then the next time you see an athlete coming from maybe Kumasi, you say, oh, we, we said we chop you guys. We chop you guys. How can you bring it? So you, you are creating so that, you get that kind of bond. That challenge. Yes. yes. That the, bond. It's all about Ghana. Yes. I love the logo. I, I can see it. I, I don't know whether it's my eyes, but I can see like a three in that logo. <laughs> I know that's your like your favorite number. There is an O. Oh. Yeah, yeah. There's an O. Oh. Yeah. I love the logo, man. I can see the Ghana flag there, and I can see our colors. What's the symbolism it's, of the it's, logo? It's because it's my my vision. Yes. You know, um, they had a similar something, but my vision. They had to take theirs out and then. Blend Craft it with it, my course. so they that was how even this this logo cry was like two months. Wow, well, they talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more. That's how it is. You get something good exactly. at the end. It's really unique. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, quick, this one. Either or. Quick questions. Fun questions for you, Asa. Before you go, uh, you have to just answer without thinking too fast. Oh, yeah, I will think. Watch your jollof. Jollof. Hamatan or rainy season. Oh, uh, rainy, rainy season. <laughs> High life or hip life. Oh, hip life. Hip life. <laughs> Take it with fish or banku with okra stew? Oh, banku with banku, 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 banku with okra. <laughs> Akra or kumasi? Akra. <laughs> Both fruit or kelewele? Oh, kelewele. <laughs> Trotro or taxi? Taxi. 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 <laughs> uh, Pound wine or sobolo? Oh, pound wine. Mm, sobolo. Mm. <laughs> Ghana Blasters or local club matches? Blasters. Uh, Blasters uh, forever. Last one, uh, fufu with light soup or granite soup? Fufu yeah, Ghana soup. Yeah, probably like soup. Fufu Ghana soup. Thank you so much. <laughs> Before you go, and it's, it's about the all regional game games. The press launch is on the 9th of April, two, uh, 2024. You can find them across all social media. Uh, Twitter, there's, sorry, X, there's Facebook, there's Instagram, there's YouTube. Look for the website, www.allregionalgames.com. Before we go, there's a little surprise presentation that uh, some people want to make to you, Baby Jet, and uh, where are the presenters? Let them come over quickly and make their presentation to us. Go behind the camera, and Baby Jet, does Baby Jet come to the, does he come to the front, or is, please come, for, come, to the, come to the front. Baby Jet, Baby Jet, please come, just pass here, yes. Okay, so there's a presentation here that's gonna be made. Uh, yes, uh, you, you, lift you, your thing now, lift them. You, but you bring money, every time, <laughs> picture, picture. <laughs> All right, so guys, yes. gentlemen, what are your names? I'm Robert. Robert, just like me. And what's your name, Robert? What's your name? Oswin. Oswin. Yeah. Do you have last names? Robert what? Lomo. <laughs> Robert Lomo yeah. and Oswin. Yeah, Abbey. Oswin Abbey, Robert Lomo and Oswin Abbey presenting a, 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 a painting, a picture, yes, artwork to That's Baby right. Jet Asamwa Jan. Uh, yes, indeed. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Baby Jet, all the best. Thank you. Thank all you right. very much. God bless. Thank you. All right, that's our our show right now. Let me see. Oh wow, nice. Mm. You did, you, did, you did think about issues. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. And that's our show for now. Thank you. We have a